Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding employees whose manager left the company and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy. Okay, let's jump right in. We are given a table called employees with four different columns. Employee ID, name, manager ID, and salary. Employee ID being the primary key for this table. This table contains information about the employees, their salary, ID of their manager. Some employees do not have a manager. So that means manager ID is null. Okay. We are asked to write a SQL query to report the IDs of the employees whose salary is strictly less than $30,000 and whose manager left the company. Okay. So when a manager leaves the company, their information is deleted from the employees table, but the reports still have their manager ID set to the manager that left. Okay, and then we need to order the result by employee ID in ascending order. Okay, let's go through this example, right? And since we have two different conditions, right? Salary should be less than $30,000 and the manager should leave the company. And how do we know whether a manager has left the company? So you won't find the information in the employees table, but the reports still have their manager ID set to the manager that left. Okay, let's go through this example, right? So here we have several, you know, employees. Now, first condition is salary should be less than $30,000, right? So if you see not less than, not less, not less. So for this and this, so employee ID 1 and 11 are the only employees whose salary is less than $30,000. Okay, the first thing that we got it, right? Secondly, we need to find whose manager has left right so if you see for employee id 1 the manager id is 11 right and 11 do you find this in the employees table so yes for 11 we have like the name and in like manager salary info like you have information for this right so this this person has not left the company right but for employee id 11 if you see the manager id is 6 right and do you find 6 here no you don't right so that means that value or that information has been deleted from the employees table which is same as saying that the manager has left the company right so in this case the answer should be the employee id 11 is the employee whose salary is less than thirty thousand dollars and whose manager has left the company and that is the output okay so to start developing this query the first thing that let's go step by step the first thing that we need to identify is who all are the employees and their managers whose salary is less than thirty thousand dollars right so what we can do is from this employee table right so from this employee table we are only going to keep those rows where salary is strictly less than thirty thousand dollars right and let's because we are only dealing with you know employee id and manager id like we don't need name and for salary that was just used for filtering purposes so let's just keep the employee id right so employee id and the manager id right let me just run this right so this is not yet complete but okay so here you uh, we get okay so for uh, employee id 1 manager id 11 and 11 and 6 we, these are the people whose salary is less than thirty thousand dollars okay now what we need to do is let's store this in a common table expression so with ct as right now based on this what do we have so employee id 1 and 11 and their manager id is 11 and 6 so now we need to test the second condition that out of these manager id 6 and 11 who all are not in this table right so from this common table expression right where the manager id right where the manager id is not in this uh, employee table employee id from this employees table right so not in return employee id right employee id from the employees table right okay so what does this mean so where manager id not in this right so select employee id from employees right so from ct you have what all manager ids 11 and 6 and from here what you will be having employee ids all this right and when i say where manager id so out of 6 and 11 which one is not here right so that means that part has been deleted from the employees table and that means that that person or that person's manager has left the 
company okay so you do that and for them what we need to return we need to return the employee id not the manager ids right so what we do is we just write return employee id right and since we also need to order this by employee id in ascending order so we just write order by employee id and yeah this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see if what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah, this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again very simple question but the only thing that you need to keep in mind is like it is somewhat tricky in the sense that firstly you need to identify all the employees and their managers whose salary is less than thirty thousand dollars and then for those managers you need to see whether for those managers right the information is in the employees table or not if the information is not in the employees table that means the information has been deleted which by definition of this question means that the manager has left the company so for those cases we need to return the employee id and that we are doing here let me know in the comment section if you have a more better way or a more efficient way of solving this problem let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video